We will take the last question from Muhammad Munirul Alam Joy from Bangladesh. He says, can you explain the hadith regarding 73 sects in the Muslim Ummah out of which only one sect will go to Jannah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159. Those people who have divided the religion and have made it into sex, O oh Prophet, you have nothing to do with them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 159, that making sects is prohibited in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Hold fast to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah, it is the glorious Quran. Now there is a hadith in Sunnah Tirmidhi wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that the Ummah will be divided into 73 sects. All of them, they will be in hellfire except for one. And the one that will not be in hellfire will be the one that follows the path of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he said that the Ummah, it will be divided into 73 sects. That does not mean that our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that make sects in Islam. He never said that. We Muslims, we need to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Atiyullah wa atiyur Rasul. Obey Allah and obey his messenger. We need to follow the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If we stick to the glorious Quran and to the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we will never go astray. So we should abstain from making sex in Islam. The Muslim Ummah should be united on the Quran and the Sunnah. It is a requirement that we Muslims, we are united. Many Muslims, they fight on small and petty issues. But we should be united on the glorious Quran and on the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.